hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you have not noticed y'all look at that angle wait, wait, wait. i'm gonna let you look at it okay it's an angle from the top i got a new setup going on i'm gonna film a video of my new workspace but you can see that the angle is from the top and not the side like it usually is and i'm actually super hyped because that used to be one of the things that people um complained about was my angle because i would have it like to the side a little bit you couldn't see on top you know what i'm saying about what i'm doing so yes guys i'm so excited i got a new table a new light a new phone holder a new like new products new shelves everything so i'm gonna film a video showing you all the new things that i got and my setup and how i organize all of my products and stuff like that but you know we're not here for that so i'm doing a set right now um this was a client's choice she showed me a picture that she had um wanted and i'm just here to recreate that um i've added a few steps to my services which is um proper cuticle cleaning um so what i did in the beginning is i go in with my cuticle drill bit and kind of just lift the skin and get it off of the um the nail bed and then i go in with my cuticle clippers and i um, clip away the excess just because i feel as though the cuticle when the cuticle line is nice and pretty and flush it just like makes the set look way more better if that makes any sense like it just looks so much more nicer and clean and um so that's what i've been practicing is cuticle cleaning and i'm not perfect at it yet but um you know i'm gonna keep practicing also like as i was looking back on this video after obviously like recording it and stuff like that like the angle is good like I, there's a start to it you know what i'm saying i feel like it's a little off and like i want to be more closer to the camera you know what i'm saying more straightforward um to the camera so that's definitely going to be fixed this was just my first time um using this new setup i just set it up yesterday and um yes yeah, so i'm still getting comfortable on like my table and stuff like that like i had to readjust my chair and like just you know just get comfortable in my new setup but yes i love it so much and it makes a world of a difference so what we need to do is get into these nail tips i ordered these nail tips from amazon and this is my second time using them they are the i believe extra long um c curve you know the straight tips um why did i have to put myself on game i don't know but these tips are mad fire. I'm going to have the uh, tips in the description box below. Um, I, like, I got it from Amazon for like $13 for like a big pack. But yes, these tips are so bomb. And um, I'm also getting used to um, shaping them. This is what the client wanted, by the way. But um, I'm getting used to shaping them and really working with them. Because I've noticed like working with C-curve tips it's different like it's really different especially the sidewalls like figuring out how to properly file the sidewalls without messing up that c curve um shape i'll definitely go make a video uh going into detail on how i file these specific nail tips but yes what um what i have in this video is me like filing them but i don't i don't know if the angle is good but we're gonna find out but yes these tips are fire like so fire they're super thick like not obnoxiously thick they're like super sturdy what i what i mean and um like they're honestly fire like just look at them like wow
so it's time for the application of my acrylic um I'm applying a lot of beads just because I think it was like hot in my um area like where I was doing nails and my beads were drying quick or like something like that so I was just applying a little bit at a time just so I can get like a smooth application but um a little bit after doing the video like it I turned on the cool air and everything went back to normal but yes um I will put the brands in my see I don't normally do brands like I don't put brands in my description box or say what brands I'm using but I'm going to start doing that because I honestly hate when people don't do that and I'm one of those people but yes, I'm going to put um, the brands that I use in the description box. And I also could tell you like what I'm using right here. Um, I believe it's called True Dip. But it's not a dip powder though. But it's called True Dip. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a dip powder. I don't know. I have to go look again. But um, yeah, so that those are the powders that I use. Also, any powders from my local nail supply store is what I use. That's also why I don't mention my nail supplies that i use because a lot of it is just from a nail supply store so it's not like i'm using any type of special brand or anything um my brush is from my um nail supply my glue is from my nail supply my acrylic my acrylic liquid is from my nail supply my tips are from um amazon my drill bit is from my nail supply and um, some other drill bits that i have are from amazon my cuticle cutters are from amazon and let me see my primer is from the local nail supply store and uh, my files are from my local nail supply store and i will have that in the description box below yeah i hope that helped because people be asking questions and i really be like Ugh, i should have said something So this client chose a beautiful set for me to recreate. Um, it's a marble ombre, um, ombre, you know, color to clear ombre, um, a nude ombre, and solid color and glitter. It's super cute, but super like classy and chill at the same time, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so I'm just going in and I'm going to ombre the... Um, pink and the red swirl or whatever to the clear right and then i'm just going to do an ombre marble on the other finger you know you guys can see what i'm doing you know i don't think i gotta explain this whole thing because then i'm gonna get confused <laughs> okay but while we're here i live in texas and i just found out that texas is about to get rid of the like mask okay so like people can step outside naked and i don't know how i feel about that like no well i know that my clients still have to wear a mask when coming to their appointments wash hands hand sanitize 
um you know what i'm saying do all all the good stuff but it's like oh my goodness like now my clients are going to be around like maskless people for real you know like going to grocery stores maskless you know i mean our personal preference you know but that's crazy to me like i don't know how i feel about i feel like we're not ready you know people were still complaining having trouble wearing masks while we were supposed to be wearing masks and it's almost like they were just like like bad kids like you know you just give up on a bad kid like i just feel like texas literally just gave up on those bad kids and was just like you know y'all cooling like y'all can y'all don't have to wear y'all mask we finna open up every store you know that that actually be blowing me but i wonder how everything's gonna go like i wonder other people's opinions on like how they feel about texas because right now um all i've seen was texas I haven't heard about any other state um, opening up fully. I wonder if they are. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if they did. But I'm just like, that's crazy. Like, we was only here for almost, like, a year. Y'all gave it a year and y'all gave up. Y'all, y'all did a year and was like, yo. First of all, I feel like Texas wasn't even caring about the mask, first of all. Like, they didn't even... They was just like, we ain't even going to do this. First and foremost, just like bad kids. That's crazy. What What do y'all think about it? Like, are y'all, I know I'm still going to be wearing my mask whenever I go to the grocery store, any type of store, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be staying out of people's faces and I'm still going to let people know. If you're going to be around me, you need to, if I don't know you, you know, you need to wear a mask because, you know, I'm not saying I'm scared or anything, but... I just feel like we're not ready, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, and then also, like, Texas is getting hot, and, you know, I feel like stuff spreads faster in heat, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, yo, I wonder what this March is gonna look like, especially because it's spring break, oh my god, oh my god.
So this was what I was talking about when I was saying that I was still trying to get comfortable in my new table. Because filing was honestly like the most uncomfortable I've ever been. But I kind of got the hang of it um, while I was doing it, you know. And um, yeah, but sitting there and trying to file was a little bit uncomfortable so that's probably why my file looks all weird probably moving all weird i tried to get the best angle that i could but um i didn't realize that i was so far off in the camera but learn that for next time um but yes yeah, so with these c-curve tips i just go straight up and down and clean off underneath um straight like you know filing straight underneath um to get any excess um what is it now coming off you know the underneath part you know what i'm talking about but yes um that's what i do for these tips so far uh, once i get using once i get to using them more you know i'll figure out different ways and you know what helps what works better and i'll definitely let you guys know also um i am so sorry but my camera cut off and I didn't get to get all the footage that I need and wanted for this video, um, aka the e-file part. Um, I didn't get it in the frame good enough. So I just had to cut that out because it would have been super, super pointless putting it in. But um, so it goes straight from me filing to the end result. But I do have a video on my channel on how I file my nails. And then also, um, I still use I still use the same, about, about the same drill bits. Um, so it's like the same process from my older video. But yeah, so if you need any reference, um, I will have that video in my description box. And also have the video to the e-file that I use. This video is soon to be coming to an end, so before it does, I just want to thank you guys for um, supporting me on my channel and watching me do nails, and I hope you guys are learning um, just as much as I am going on in my nail journey. Um, I do have an Instagram for my nails. It is G Made Nails. I will put that in the description box, and I also post a lot on my snapchat of my nails and that is i am gab's dozier and that will also be in the description box but yes i can't wait for you guys to see the end result and yeah thank you guys for your support wow so beautiful again thank you guys for watching me and supporting me always and if you want to see more pictures of this set you can go to my instagram do you make nails and get all beautiful content thank you guys